Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My name is Michael Weil, and I play a character called Dr. Andrew Michaels on this channel, Tiara de Weo. And I have a special major award to show everyone. But first, I want to show you somebody else. Um, and I'm here. Okay. There he is. Oh, he's a can you, yeah, okay. Look. Look, everyone, it's Buster. He's not as little a baby anymore as he used to be, but he's still a good boy for dad, huh? And he really likes me, but he doesn't like being held this way. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, did he drop it? Are you, he's scared. He doesn't like this. Here, hand it to him. Say hi, Chris. He's camera shy. Yeah. Say hi, Chris. Hi. My wife, who, if you ever see a model, stick your arm in there. If you ever see a live model, it is her arm or back or head you see. He doesn't want them. No. But anyway, Buster wanted to say hi to everyone. Come here. You love daddy. I'm going to give daddy kisses. Huh? <laughs> I'm give daddy kisses. Are you going to be camera shy for us? <laughs> I love this little stupid dog. He's not stupid either. He's a good boy. Well, he loves his dad. You want to go? It's freaking him out. He doesn't like it. It's really weird. But I thought all you guys might want to see him. And then I'm going to do the unboxing, and then maybe Chris will come out and see it later. Are you going to take him? Okay. <laughs> go and get dad kisses. No? He's shy. Okay, he's shy. All right. <laughs> So, real quick, thank you for joining me today. This is your Saturday morning confessions, and I've got a lot coming up. Um, my son's wedding is next week, and I have to get to sleep after working all night, and then I'm meeting my son's future in-laws today for dinner later. So, I'm not doing the, uh, brain's not working this morning. I'm not doing the, um, Mexico adventure with my dad. We'll just tantalizingly tease you about that this week. I promise I will have it. I'll film it during the week when I'm off. And I have a Colt 45 freezing for it. And I promise I'll do it ahead of time so I can release it on the day of my son's wedding. But today I wasn't expecting to meet the in-laws, but they're in town. So I'm going to do that, but I cannot wait to do this. And unfortunately it's morning and my dog has to be taken care of or he'll bark the whole time. And normally I'm in my studio downstairs. I actually have a small studio in my basement. So it's more quiet. You might hear some birds. It's early Saturday morning and I work all night so that's don't be alarmed when you see me drinking a steel reserve high gravity 42 ounce malt liquor on a Saturday morning that's normal for me because I I go to work at night when everybody else is having a drink this is my kitchen dining room area and back in September of 2014 I started doing videos right here. This is where I started. I started right here in front of this wall and on this table. So since that's where I started, that's where I wanted to do this video today. So let's crack this thing open. A steel reserve. Something different and special for all of you to enjoy. Oh. I'm, I don't know if I've ever had a steel reserve. so. We'll see how this goes. Ooh, mother sucker. That is some fine, fine high gravity malt liquor. Whew. I can see why the boys used to drink this. Oh, that's nasty. Mm. What's it say? Extra malted barley? 
and select hops for extra gravity. <laughs> oh my, they aren't kidding. That's one righteous bald liquor. I don't think I would choose it over Colt 45. Uh, I like Mickey's uh, malt liquor better than this. But I don't know, this might be better than Mickey's. Mm. Mm. And I love, 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 love my uh, Old English 800, which I can't find lately. I can't find it. So we took a little sip of that. Now you have to have your gloves on. What you see here right there. This is my 100,000 subscribers silver play button. I didn't make a big deal out of getting 100,000 subscribers. Not not really. I, I promised you a couple videos but I didn't want to like do a celebration lap until I got my silver button. If that's what this is, I hope it is. You don't know till you open it, do you? And uh, I promised you a couple videos. One, I have the costuming for Mr. Incredible. So we're gonna do Mr. Incredible. And Buster's gonna be in that video. That's why I brought him out here, but he, he was a little nervous, so. And I'm gonna do the Dr. Ting, Dr. Tingles ASMR and I are going to do a collaboration. I've been working so much I, I can't get with them, but I'm, I'm going to do that this, this month. I promise you'll see that video very soon. Um, I promised Crinkle, Crinkle Lovin' ASMR, who I mentioned in my last video, that I, I she wrote me last night. Oh, I'm going to do a collaboration with her in August. So that's something else coming up that's going to be exciting. I'm going to keep the first week of August. Oh, that's nasty. The first week of August open to do a collaboration with her. <clears throat> and I told her I promise them the whole week. So that's coming. And there's one more surprise. I bought uh, some stuff to do a costume of the Joker. I don't have a lot of props, just a few, but I do have the green wig, which I need the wig because I a little lacking in that condition. And I promise that hopefully before July is over, I will be doing a Joker. Role play, and you're gonna love it. I already have it in my head how it's gonna work. So let's get started, okay? Out of my reading glasses. I'll see how this works. This is a sharp knife. Very sharp. Very dangerous knife. And I know, personally, I knock YouTube a lot. Crossing that threshold to 100,000 subscribers, they have been so helpful to me. Um, they sent me a whole bunch of emails about this to make sure I knew it was coming. They've just been... <laughs> I'm blown away by how nice they've been treating me. And uh, I, I can't believe how nice they are. They've sent me some YouTube support emails letting me know that they approved it and that, that they were sending it. I got it <clears throat> processed pretty quick. They started processing it and 
I got the 100,000 subscribers a little bit before June, maybe in May 26, 27. And they said wait a month and then ask us about the button. So I waited about a month and I wrote to Partner Support and they were nice enough to write to me like right back and said, you've been approved, your button's on the way. And they sent me a link to, uh, you know, put the information in. You have to put your address in and your channel name and stuff like that. It's really cool. It's like such a, I have to be honest, it's an honor. It really is. A, I don't even believe it's real until it's sitting right here because it just took so much work to get it. Now, I know some channels get 100,000 subscribers pretty quick pretty fast <clears throat> now I know some get 500,000 a million fast but what people don't know is it, it looks fast to us but to that person that's going through it it's stupendously slow excuse me and it's just such a long drawn out process and it's so agonizing at least it was for me like I said, I started in September, October 2014, and it's, you know, July 2018, almost four years to get the 100,000 subscribers. And I've watched people do better than me. I've watched people do worse than me, so there's no real measure of it. And I've also watched a lot of my... What do you call it? My equivalents or whatever you want to call them. You know, people that started when I did. I watched them quit or go away or disappear or stop or just quit growing and give up. And it, it breaks your heart sometimes to see people give up on their dream. Maybe 100,000 subscribers on their dream. I've been on YouTube a very long time and I have, I think... Five partner channels still, even after the ad apocalypse and everything. This being one of them, and I got like at least two or four more. I can't. I'd have to go check. They're minor channels, and I don't do a lot with them anymore. But they're still partnered. This was my last shot at trying to do something on YouTube, and it. It. I have forty something million views on. Couch Potato Theater, my other major channel. I have a few channels that have like million view videos. But they only got like 30,000 subscribers the most. One had uh, 10 or 15,000. I never really had that acceptance. The um, gratitude of a, of, of a loyal audience. The love of a loyal audience the ability to build a channel like really build an audience build a channel build a brand build a group of people that actually come back I mean, you guys come back and you comment and you you tell me what you want you tell me what you like you tell me what you don't like and I am so honored I really am Something about YouTube really is painfully ugly. But doing ASMR for the people who come to my channel, doing ASMR for people that take the time to email me, and they tell me in their emails some of the most horrendous personal witnessings you could imagine. And I don't, none of that ever upsets me all I feel is compassion and warmth and understanding and I try to write back to everyone who emails me I think I've got a pretty good running record I take the time to talk to people who are in need and uh, and that's not bragging that is I believe a duty of every single ASM artist out there we're doing God's work and I know a lot of people don't believe 
in God. A lot of people are agnostics. They're not Christians. You know, it doesn't matter what you believe in. If you believe anything, wouldn't, wouldn't you want to be like God? Not God the Father, but more like, you know, Jesus. And I know I'm kind of rambling because I'm so tired today. But, you know, guys like Jesus and Muhammad and Buddha, they went out and they tried to make the world a little better place. Why wouldn't you want to make the world a better place? Why wouldn't you want to do unto others as you would have them do unto you? How hard is it to understand the rules? And they're not hard to follow. Just treat people nice and they'll treat you back nicely. The wicked and the good every day have the sun shine down on them. You need to decide what part of that you want to be. Do you want to have a good experience amongst all that, or do you want to have a painful one? And that's what being a human being is about. It's about decisions and deciding what kind of person you want to be and how you want the world to accept you. And if you want the world to accept you, you have to be accepting. It's just not that hard. I talked to some old friends last night, Stefan, Rebecca, Katie, Matt, Corey, Mad, Mad Dog, Lauren, my good friend Lauren. You guys know Lauren, she's uh, Lauren Ostrowski Fenton, ASMR. I'm going to tell everybody a little secret. When I started doing ASMR, I was helping Lauren, because she was trying to develop an audience back then around 2012, 2013. And I saw the community and I thought, oh my, I'd love to be a part of this. So I decided to start doing my own videos. And i got to tell you something. I sent this photo of this. My wife took a picture. And I was at work and I sent this photograph of this box to several close friends. And, you know, they all got back to me in a reasonable amount of time. Lauren wrote to me like within seconds and she was so happy. I think I actually impressed her. So I could say that's one <laughs> bucket list thing out of the way. I impressed Laura Ostrowski Fenton. So I did something good. Only took four years to do it. <laughs> and my dear friend Laura Minx, you guys know her, she wrote back. I didn't send the picture to everybody, so don't feel like I left you out. I just, this is how I wanted to announce it. So I only told a few friends that I'm very dear to me and, and I was, you know, wanting to message them about other stuff anyway. So I also told my dear friend, Amy Blue Whispers, and you guys all know her. She's like phenomenal. She's like one of the best in the business. And she was so happy because she's been worried about me and I'm worried about her all the time. She's like a daughter to me. I just read over her something fierce. And she's so happy. And I said, it doesn't feel real until it's sitting on my kitchen table. And that's the truth. I probably left a lot. Oh, Peggy. I told Peggy Whispers and Chaos. You guys probably know Peggy Whispers and Chaos. She's a wonderful young lady. Her boyfriend, Bob's uh, one of the best guys I've ever met. I love Bob. Great guy. And uh, I told my friend Samantha. I want, I, you know, you do these kind of things and you... You always worry you're going to leave somebody out, not remember to tell someone. And I told Gary, and I forgot to tell King Ziggy, and I love King Ziggy, the king of all YouTube from Toronto, Ohio. So if him and Steve Riker and Gary Old Vision are watching, I really hope they see this. I'm going to hopefully they'll see it and take the time to watch. 
But there's one guy I miss really bad, and he's no longer with us. And his name was uh, Troy Height, Bicky D man. And a couple times I've tried to make videos about Bicky D. He passed a, about a year and a half ago, two years ago maybe. And I miss him really, really bad. He was a spiritual advisor to me whether he thought he was or not he was a spiritual guide to me and I, I loved him I loved him like a, like a father like a brother and, um, and he died suddenly I didn't get to say goodbye he was in my freak show collaboration he was the clown one, one of the clowns there was a couple clowns in it and I my wife loved him too we wrote to him and he witnessed to us. He was a minister out in Wyoming, a little tiny town, and I miss him so bad. I miss him so bad. I miss my buddy Gary, too, Old Vision, and I miss King Ziggy and Steve and all the guys I used to do my live streams with, like uh, Wolf Bracker and the, and the gang. And, uh, you know, like my buddy Dre. Someday well, I'm going to start doing live streams again, but I'm just so busy I can't even think straight sometimes. But anyway, I do think about Biggie D, man, a lot. And I think about his family and uh, his legacy. And I want to think, I want to think that he's proud of me, that he would be proud of me because I stuck it out. I didn't quit. I didn't give up, and I never surrendered. And that's the secret of Terrar de Huelo, and that's exactly what the channel means. No surrender, no compromise, no prisoners, never back down, never give up. And I never give up, and I, need, and I never leave anything on the table. 12-hour shift all night, come home, Crank out a good video from my friends on a Saturday confessional, and I'm pounding down a big old steel reserve malt liquor, and I'm going to get up and go to dinner later and meet my son's in-laws, and then I'm going to go to work tonight. And you know what? There ain't no give. There ain't no give. And if some of you young men like my friend Morgan and some of the others out there, like Cameron and them, you guys remember what this old man said. No give. No give up. No go home. No surrender. And this is what a silver button looks like. They send you a nice letter. I knew that. And they sent me a card. Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. We are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement and want your experience to be exceptional. This award, reward award was inspected and with great and packaged with great care by Rick. <laughs> if it's damaged, please contact Rick. Boy, look at that. Then they actually care. They actually send you emails and everything. <laughs> it's amazing. It's night and day. It's crossing a little tiny line. Then they send you a letter from YouTube. And it's really on good paper. So if you want, you can screenshot that and maybe see it. And it's signed by Susan Was, whatever her name is, who I've the CEO of YouTube, who I've wrote to on Twitter and asked her to resign because I think she runs YouTube like a uh, halfway house for mental patients. I'm not real fond of her. Uh, it just the ad apocalypse really broke me, but I survived because I didn't quit. <laughs> But she, this is a form letter, I'm sure. But I appreciate it regardless because, you know, she can't possibly write everybody a letter. It's just not feasible. You've done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. We know that numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope that you don't lose sight of the reality behind that six-digit milestone. Each and every person who subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you created they were inspired, challenged, and entertained. <clears throat> Excuse me. You achieved this milestone with hard work, perseverance, and probably a healthy sense of humor, too. What you've accomplished can't be taken away from you. 
And we'd like to recognize you and all your hard work with the Silver Creator Award, a small token of our esteem and respect. We know that you don't do this for rewards. Oh, hell yes, I do. You do it because <laughs> you have a drive to create and share because you found an audience, well, you know, blow it out your ass, whatever. We're gonna, I, I can't, I can't read that. We know you don't do this for rewards and money. Yeah. That's my favorite. Oh, I don't do it for the money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're saying it didn't work out for you. So <laughs> it's usually a guy who's not doing well. It's not about the money. It's not about the money. It's about friends and whatever. Okay, whatever. You, so you're not doing well. Okay. And it says on it. I'll read it first and I'll show you. Presented to T.R. A. Duelo. Wayho. T.R. Dawayho for passing 100,000 subscribers YouTube and there's a little mirror on it. There you go. You see my camera. You get to see my camera and my 3DO mic there probably. There's my 3DO. There's my camera. I use a Sony 5100A DSLR and I have a 3DO free space. And I use a Roland audio recorder. Look at that. And the part they leave out is everybody's rooting for you. That's right, Susan, everybody is rooting for me. But the truth of the matter is I wouldn't have this without people like you. That's the back. It's really, really nice. Really nice. It's very heavy. I wouldn't have this without all of you. You have no idea how honored I am to be holding this. I'm trying to get it so it won't reflect. Oh, yeah, that's probably good right there. So I can grab a nice screenshot of it later. You guys have no idea how much you all mean to me. And, and I think people who have wrote, wrote to me, emails, private messages, wrote to me on Twitter, Facebook, whatever. I do take the time to help where I can. And I've said it more than once. And I'll say it again. I'll keep saying it. Thank you. I'll keep saying that and I'll keep saying God bless you. So anyway, um, the main lesson message of this channel has always been the same. I wanted to get people to think. I wanted people to take strange historical or personal witness stories and give them something to think about. Give them something to dream about. And even from the beginning when I did silly role plays like Elephant Man and Hitler and Nosferatu and um, some crazy stuff with Cthulhu and oh geez, we did some wild stuff. Everybody got it. Everybody, it took a while to build an audience, but everybody got it. And I got noticed right away by some bigger artists like Audra Neela, Heather Feather, and some others. The, and, you know, at, at the time, um, Laura Minx was bigger, a lot bigger than me, and she was so kind to do collaborations with everybody. She went out of her way to really help a lot of people, and I was one of them. And I've always been grateful for that. Always been grateful. And I did some collaborations early on with some of the, as far as I'm concerned, some of the best artists in the business. Can't thank them enough. And I've made new friends. Uh, it was funny. I helped Dr. Tingles ASMR. And he was a little, maybe 10,000 smaller than me. Then he passed me up. Then he did a collaboration and helped me. 
and we're going to do another one. So it's like you meet these people and we take care of each other. We help each other out. ASMR Zeitgeist was very kind to me. Most people don't know this. I helped him when he was a young artist. And then now he's helping me with the all-male collaboration he did about six months ago. And here's a kid that, uh, you know, he could have just whew, sailed off to the sunset. And he doesn't forget who his friends are. He's a good person. Uh, so I've met some really cool people. Anno, ASMR, A-N-O, ASMR. Uh, totally stand-up guy. Good kid. When I say kid, he's my son's age. I don't mean that disrespectfully. He's a wonderful young man. Wonderful young man. Admire him immensely. And I've met, I've met so many nice ladies, you know. From the start, Blue Whisper and I were friends. Uh, and we always looked out for each other. It's it's amazing, and I and this is the weird part where you start getting scared. You're gonna not mention somebody, and I don't want anybody to feel that way. And I'm really frightened because I'm gonna not mention a name. And I care about all of you so much. And the community does matter to me, and I miss talking to some of my friends because you know they move on or they get tired of it, and it breaks your heart a little bit. But at the same time. They've got their own life to live. They, you know, people do this and they move on or it doesn't work out the way they imagined. So don't ever, you know, worry about that kind of stuff. And I'm so grateful. And I know it may not be the Saturday Confessions you wanted, but it's pretty important to me to share this with you. And it was very important to me to let you see this. And let you know that you made this happen. A lot of people have worked very hard to help me and keep me going and let me know that they care. There are so few people, so few, I can count them on my hand, of people who tried to stop this channel from growing. And they failed. They failed miserably because all of you saw the merit in the work I was doing. And you also got me involved and I helped you and we talked things out and we built a community within a channel. We look out for each other. And what I mean by that is if I got a problem, I tell everybody, if you have a problem, you tell me. And once we talk about it, it goes away. You know, that's what friends are for. They look out for each other. They check up on each other. They make sure you're okay. A kind word, a kind pat on the back, it goes a long way to helping your fellow man. So don't forget that. Every time you think that I helped you as every time you think that uh, I helped you or I did something for you, you need to know, it may not be you directly, but it's you, the group, you, the fine people out there. You help me more than you'll ever know. You've changed me inside. I want to be a better person for you. I want to help you. I want you to have a good life. And it does matter. And I ask people to come back and let me know how they're doing. I check up on people where I can. I, I do what I can. You know, you can only do so much as one person. The other day, somebody said something about helping people. And I said, well, I helped you. And I messaged you. And I talked to you. And I liked your comment. So that's, he asked me how many people I've liked their comments and left a heart. And I said, well, I helped you and I talked to you and I answered you. So that's one. And I really mean that. Let's think about that together real quick before I go. I don't care about helping 50,000 people because I can't. I'm just one guy. But if I can save one person, if I can help 
one person, if I can make one person's life better, then I did something. You know, it wasn't about the glory. It wasn't about the reward. It was about helping one single person. And I've actually pulled some people out of situations, literally pulled them. I don't want to say specifics. And I've been in some hairy stuff. I've been in some really ugly things. And I've grabbed a hold of somebody and pulled them out. Let's just say it that way. And I will tell you for a fact, there is no greater reward than to see somebody get up and walk away from something. Because you would give anything to see them walk away than to see them die. I uh, will tell you that. There's a lot of men out there that watch me that are veterans and uh, EMS and good people, fine people, priests, ministers. And they'll tell you the same thing. You will give anything to see that person walk away one more day than to bury a friend or bury someone. And uh, I promised a, a, a new friend of mine that I find that I care about very deeply that I wouldn't get emotional and get worked up, but I am a little bit. But uh, I'm going to kind of end it here. And then I'm going to put a little addendum on it. I'm going to let Chrissy come out and see my award, and I want her to react off camera. It's morning, so she doesn't want to be on camera because she doesn't have her face on. But I want all of you to know that uh, the other side of this is this is a lot of work and a lot of hours and a lot of time. And that woman that I'm married to, doesn't watch one single video. She doesn't know anything I do on this channel. She doesn't know who I talk to or anything. I might tell her if I'm getting a lot of heavy emails, you know, like rough stuff. And she'll, you know, make sure I'm okay. But she really doesn't know anything that goes on here. But she knows I'm doing something good. And she makes sure everything's okay. And my little girl is very supportive too. And I will tell you something. All you guys owe her a small, tiny debt of gratitude. Because... That woman makes this possible. If she didn't pick up the slack from me basically working two jobs to make this happen, it wouldn't happen. So if any of you want to leave a comment for Chrissy, K-R-I-S-S-Y, if you're still watching, if you want to, so I want her to get her little, you know, on camera here, off camera. If you want to leave a nice message for Chrissy, K-R-I-S-S-Y, and tell her thanks, that's cool. Okay. Come on in, Chris. Don't tell her what I said. Okay, this is what they give you. They give you, a, if there's anything wrong with it, they give you a, a email to contact people to fix it. Mm -hmm. I got a letter from the CEO of YouTube. Nice. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually really nice. And then this is the actual award. Wow. I knew it was heavy. <laughs> is that slick? Oh, uh -huh. yeah, you don't want, no, don't worry, Just they can't see, me. they can't see you, and uh, you want to say hi to everybody? Good morning. Yeah, you might hear her in a live stream yelling, you're being too loud. <laughs> yeah, so many of you may remember me from that. So there's a lot of heroes out there, and that's one of them. If it wasn't for her, this wouldn't happen. So thank you, Chrissy. You're welcome. Are you leaving? Come over here and let Daddy have some sugar. No. Come on. No, no, Come no pajamas. Go I'm a, I'm part of that Me Too movement. I want Me Too to get some. No. no. <laughs> I don't think I understand that movement very well, do I? <laughs> that's a bad that's joke. A wrong idea. Okay, you like that? Yeah, that's Look, very cool. It's professional. Find a good place to hang it up. I think we should hang it right here for a while, just so we can remember and look at it. Just for like maybe a month so I can... Nobody will see it. We don't have any company coming over, do we? Okay, where do you want me to hang it? In the bedroom? No. I could put it on the ceiling of the bedroom so when, you know, I'm in there, you know, I'd be like, oh, yeah. Okay, goodbye. I'm the champ. No, come on, come on, come on back. No. I'd be scared it would fall down and hit me in the head because it's actually heavy. It is heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. Could you imagine that, though, on the ceiling, though? You're laying there, oh, yeah, look at me. <laughs> Elvis is alive. I can't think of many what? people that want to 
lay in bed and look. No, I don't want to look at my major award. It's a major award. It's like the it's it's indescribable. It's like the Fourth of July. On the what? Thir- fourteenth. What? It's the fourteenth of July. Yeah, it's the fourteenth of July, but you know what are you gonna do? Well, I like little. Did you see the box that said fragile? Mm, no. <laughs> I don't think it, it's not that funny. Okay, is that it? Yeah. When can I set loose the uh, angry masses? <sighs> I think I'm done now. All right. Thanks for joining me, everyone. And remember, this is Mike Weil, A.K.A. Dr. Andrew Michaels, and I am always here to help you. And until I see all of you again, please have a most blessed day. Thank you. And wish me luck on meeting my future in-laws. I'm going. I'm good. I'm glad. I'm going. I'm going to be miserable. Carol wants to go too. Yeah, she should go. My daughter wants to go. So, And when we do the wedding, maybe I'll even put a picture up for everyone. That'd be nice. Because they're, they're, they know now. They're, and everybody, and, and by the way, before I go, thank you everyone who on my last video when I mentioned myself was getting married, took the time to say congratulations to your son and everything. So remember, there's two things you can put in the comments this time. Go ahead, let everybody out. Say thank you, Chris. K-R-I-S-S-Y. And if you want to thank my son or congratulate my son, you're welcome to. And I too appreciate it. And I read read them all. And thank you very much. You're all very kind. Thank you for all the blessings that you've given me. And that's Buster, in case you want to know. He came right out to see Daddy. Until I see all of you again, have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend and a wonderful July. Many great character-driven videos coming soon. I promise. I won't let you down. And if I do, you have to tell me and then I'll straighten out.